rocks that tell the fiery tales of Earth's origins. Welcome to the world of igneous rocks, the first of Earth's solid storytellers. Now, the word igneous comes from the Latin ignis, meaning fire. These rocks form from the cooling and solidification of magma or lava, making them the primary type of rock from which others originate. Magma is molten rock beneath Earth's surface. When it erupts, it becomes lava. Once lava or magma cools, igneous rocks are born. Formed deep within the Earth, these rocks cool slowly, allowing large crystals to form. Granite, diorite and gabbro are great examples. Formed on the Earth's surface from lava, they cool quickly, resulting in smooth, fine-grained textures. Think basalt, obsidian and rhyolite. Formed at shallow depths around 2 kilometers. They have mixed textures from both intrusive and extrusive types. Formed at even greater depths up to 10 kilometers, resulting in extremely coarse-grained textures like pegmatite. The texture depends mainly on the cooling rate. Here are a few types. Phanaritic, coarse grain, slow cooling examples include granite. Aphanitic, fine grains, fast cooling examples include basalt. Holohyaline, glassy, high undercooling examples include obsidian. Porphyritic, a mix large crystals, phenocrysts, in a finer matrix ground mass. Examples include andesite. Vesicular, full of gas bubbles. Examples include pumice. Amygdaloidal, vesicles filled with secondary minerals. Examples include amygdaloidal basalt. Pumiceous, so vesicular it can float. Examples include pumice. That's a fiery deep dive into igneous rocks. Up next, rocks shaped by wind, water, and time sedimentary rocks.